Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And today I'm out at a place I haven't really tried before because they've got a new item on their menu and I don't know if too many people around the country have these. I don't know they're kind of isolated. They don't have a whole lot of places around here. It's kind of an old uh, style restaurant and they are more famous for their hot dogs but I saw that they have a special item for the holiday and I thought I would give it a try because uh, it's only available for a limited time and the hot dogs are available pretty much all the time and maybe I'll come back another time and check it out but what I did was I went to Wiener Schnitzel and I don't know if people are familiar with Wiener Schnitzel it's a hot dog place and they've got uh, lots of different hot dogs chili dogs chili cheese fries um, all kinds of different uh, new takes on it they have also got sundaes banana splits shakes that kind of thing but for the holiday season they have all beef tamales and I thought I would give them a try and for the chili cheese tamale it was $2.99 and with tax it came to $3.27 and this is a receipt I can if I do a survey I get a free chili cheese dog so if I do that within a couple of days I can come back and get a chili cheese dog for free they also run specials where um, you can get five mix and match chili cheese dogs or corn dogs for $5.95 that's pretty much all the time but I'm gonna go ahead and try the chili cheese tamale at Wiener Sinsel. so I saw the items out there they have another one they have different versions of them with the jalapenos and with other things on them but they only offered the one flavor here so it's just a chili and cheese. I don't know if they would have been able to add the jalapenos if I asked them. They didn't really seem to say that there were three different kind of flavors, but maybe not at this particular one. So here it is, the Wiener Sizzle. This is the chili cheese tamale. And it just comes in, I guess this is like a regular hot dog box or a I don't know if they do the chili cheese fries or some of these other ones that are come in a box. And here's what you get. Take a look. See if you could see this. This is kind of kind of messy. It's kind of a lot of chili and cheese on the top. And buried down in here somewhere is the tamale. So there, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit give you a real close up <laughs> I mean it doesn't look like the most appetizing thing in the world but you know gonna go with the tamale from Wiener Sizzle and let's take a look at here there's lots of cheese and kind of doing a little bit of cut in here and give you a nice look at it if I can get a nice scoop so here's what it looks like. The tamale looks really thick. The coating is, uh, oh, it's pretty good. The corn, and then also you've got the beef in the middle and lots of chili and cheese heaped on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try to see what it tastes like. So this is gonna be for all you guys out there and I don't know if you guys are a fan of tamales for the holidays, but this was the closest I can get, and I found it at Wiener Sizzle. So here we go. Give it this a try. See how it tastes. So here we go. Nice big bite. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. The tamale, the corn, is really good. The corn's nice. Um fluffy not too mushy not too pasty the beef in the middle is actually really good and um, they have their own kind of blend of chili that goes on top 
it's just the beef and the sauce there's no beans or anything in it so this is actually really good for you know for a tamale out there you would think that something that specializes in hot dogs wouldn't do a good uh, tamale but this is actually pretty good so give this another bite hmm wow wow this is really good so if you guys are a fan of chili and you're a fan of beef tamales go ahead and give these a try i'd i'd say run on down if you have a wiener schnitzel near you and check them out hmm wow <laughs> i don't know this is pretty good i might have to uh I might have to get another one, maybe not today, but before they go away for the holidays, now that I know that they're here, I'm going to give it a nice, nice little bite, see if I can get a little bit more of the filling and the inside of this. And here we go. Hmm. Wow. Hmm, that chili... That chili on top really is really good. I wouldn't think of putting chili and cheese on a top of a tamale, but for some reason, this one actually works. So, hmm, wow. <laughs> I'm pretty surprised, so. Hmm, yeah, that, that corn, nice and soft, good. Hmm, so, yeah does have a little bit of the cheese pull with that shredded I believe it's cheddar cheese on top and it's a pretty good size you get a decent size little burrito for the $2.99 price so hmm. the only thing that might make it better is if I went home brought this home and I have like hot sauce and maybe jalapenos and put some hot sauce and jalapenos on top. That would probably make it even better. But, you know, this was at the place. They didn't have any of those things. So maybe next time I'll go by and try with some jalapenos and some hot sauce on the top and take it home. But for my rating on the beef tamale from Wiener Sinsel. <sighs> I'll have to give that one a 10 out of 11. It's very good. The night the beef is nice. The chili sauce on top is really good. They've always had really good chili cheese sauce. Um, when I get the chili cheese hot dogs, they're they're really good as well. So I have to give it a 10 out of 11. Like I said, if I think if it was to put the jalapenos and a little hot sauce or a little green chilies or, um, uh, I don't know, chopped onions or something on top, it might have made it the 11. But for just the chili cheese, it's pretty good. I give it a 10. So if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you won't miss any content and any of my future videos that I put out. And feel free to look through my library of past videos out there. I've got lots of different subjects as far as new food reviews, um, what's poppin', sweets, chocolate world, all my new videos that I've got out there. So until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, I will talk to you later and I am going to finish my tamale while it's still hot and give it a good bite. And till next time on Drew's Food Reviews, I will talk to you later.